My father was born in China in 1865, to the year of the Civil War. My name, mother's name was Annie uh, through uh, her mother. Her mother was Irish. Irish descent came from Irish. I believe she came from Killarney or Cork, one of those two places. My mother-in-law's name was Mary Sullivan. And uh, she's buried right now in Oakland, California. Now my mother was born in the United States. Her father was an Ng, but he had the name Lee on paper. And uh, he took my mother back to China when she was five years old. She did not come back until she was 30 years old. She led a miserable life in China because she stayed there to take care of her father's mother. But my mother lived there and she took care of her mother for a while. She got married at a young age and had five children. After she had five children, two years later, her husband died. So there she was raising five children. I mean, God bless it. My mother was a heroine and a half. Uh, so the oldest daughter got married and moved to Malaysia. Uh, the old, everybody else stayed with my mother. And you know, so until somebody, my, my, my father uh, wanted to uh, remarry in the United States and raise some more kids. I mean, that was his hobby. So, um, uh, a friend of his named uh, M Yi Bong, he fixed my father up with my mother. And uh, actually another person, uh, M Si Min, which is uh, the father of five of my best friends, they're all gone. Uh, so they fixed my father up with my mother. So my, my mother came back through her own papers but they kept her in Angel's Island for, I think, about three months. So, you know, until they established that she was born in the United States. But there was no way that you could tell she wasn't born in the United States. She was very light-skinned and she had freckles. When she was in Ch China, everybody looked down on her because she had freckles. Chinese don't have freckles. <laughs>